dig that. Oh, I also dig is that uh, it's not in the plugins, but you can move it to the trash can. That's what I like about it. Just move to the trash can. Um, convenient for me. Uh, what's this next one? The pause between tracks. Um, basically, that's what it sounds like. You know, you enable that, you have this little X button, and it'll pause at the end of every uh, track, I believe, or just that current track. Um, but I'm not really a fan of that. And the portable player, basically, you have like a Sancha MP3 player or something, then you would use the MTP settings. You have an iPod, basically, that's what it is, and you can sync it. Uh, what is this? Uh, not really important. I don't really care about that. Uh, this one is pretty cool. Uh, it uses uh, Stream Ripper, and basically, this is for you know recording radio stations. Uh, you can do some configurations to tell it where you want to put it, and uh, you can actually schedule the recording and some other crap. But you can check that out. But how it works is like this. So let's say you have uh, your shoutcast here that we used it before, right? All you gotta do is right click on the stream. You see here, right click on the stream, and you have the record here, and that's it. It'll start recording. Um, well, some of them will cancel, and you see how it says uh, recording here, right? And you can stop it whenever you want, or you can do a schedule recording, like I said before, in the the settings. It had a button up here before, but uh, I guess not here anymore. <laughs> Anyways. So if you you're up to that, you can use that for uh, recording radio station. Otherwise, I don't really record it. This one is like um, what's it? Replay gain. It's kind of like keeping the tempo at the same volume uh, because you know when you turn on a song, the next song might be louder than the, uh, the one that you're listening to. And uh, I guess that's what it does. It just keeps it at a consistent uh, uh, volume. Uh, what is this one? Resume on startup. It'll keep, it'll come back to uh, the songs that you left off when you close down your rhythm box. That's basically what that does. Send tracks is uh, exactly how it sounds like. Let's say you're listening to a track and you want to send it to your buddy list or your email or whatever. All you gotta do is right click on it, and it'll say, um, "What the hell is it? Send to here." And then you have, um, you know, your messenger or whatever, all up to you. Uh, even email. So that's how that is done. Uh, lyrics, you don't really need lyrics if you use uh, the, the was it the context pane? They already have lyrics here for you. I think they grabbing from the same source is kind of slow, but uh, you don't really need that one. Status icons basically you have uh, that icon up there for your rhythm box. Uh, this one um, is from Taste Kid, I think dot dot com there you go, and it recommends um, other artists based on the one that you're listening to. I don't I'm not really impressed by this, but you can try it out. They'll give you like this icon here, right? And if you click on it, I think they, yeah they give you a list here. Right of uh, if you search for in Thraker places, they'll give you the song uh, the other artist that's related to his type of music. Um, I don't really dig it that, that much. I have the other one, but it's still cool. What is this uh sync uh, rhythm box playlist with me? I'm not really sure. I haven't tried that. Visualization. Uh, basically, you have that weird shit. Let me see here if I can do that. No, I can't. No, I can't. But basically they give you like a weird uh, I guess, uh, I don't know, some some effects or some shit you can do. And these other ones don't work but uh, that's the end of all the plugins that I tried so far. So do check it out and how to install this. Let me show you. see here basically you go to uh, their site and I'll post the site on the site somewhere all you gotta do is download uh, you know the files and uh, you make let me see here let me go back to uh, my home folder and I'll show you 
So let me see here. You have to unhide it if it's not hide already. So to unhide it is this. Yeah. So show hidden files, right? Or control H if you already know it. Basically you're looking for a dot gnome two folder. Here this one. And um, go in there and make a folder called rhythm box if it doesn't exist already. And inside it is where you um, make a folder called plugins, right? And just dump or extract all the the plugins that you want to uh, in here. See, so these are all my plugins. Uh, so that's it. And what the hell is this? Oh, so these are the covers that they downloaded, uh, I guess. Well, that's how it's done, and it's been a long fucking video. I probably have to split it to like two or three parts. Well, that's it. If you're a big uh, Rhythm Box fan, uh, definitely try some of those out. And uh, don't try to enable all of them because they'll be unstable.